Welcome back to Digimon! Are you ready to talk to a fucking oh, owl? Oh, it's Kapora Gabora! Gabora Kapora Gabora 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 Did you get it? God you damn it! Ah, oh, I hit the pad instead of the stick! <laughs> this used to trap me as a kid because I'd never pay attention, I'd just mash the button trying to get out of it. Yeah. And I'd just be in the loop forever! Classic. Classic. Uh. So I'm yeah. on the field, Hyrule Field. This look at is it. the look at coolest that. place. Oh yeah, ever. I do got a mini map on screen. That's good. Cool, dude. This is the coolest place ever. Look, you can see the mountains in the distance. Uh huh. You can see fucking Lon Lon Ranch and the castle. Yeah. Peeking over the I got hill. a stick. Oh. That's the castle. So That's good. That's the ranch. Ranch dressing. Is there a Hyrule pizza to put all that Hyrule ranch on? What the fuck? Yeah. It's Lawn Lawn Ranch. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? Oh. You mean Lawn Lawn Pizza to put that Lawn Lawn Ranch on? Hey, bro, yeah, let me get a high five you made for everything that. in the world miserable. <laughs> God damn it. I can never it. make it to the you're fucking bridge before it. the end of the first day. Try doing a. God, imagine if more Majora's flips. Mask days ended this wait, fast. Wait, wait, wait. No! Oh, you fool! Why weren't you rolling? Rolling fuck. is faster. Rolling does not make you faster. Rolling does I was make just you trying it. That's bullshit. Because you stopped for a second after the roll. Then you should have been side flipping. I should have been side flipping indeed. I will now cross. Now I'll fight skeletons all fucking night. Nah, this man, shit this used to terrify me when I was little. Go hang out in Kakariko Village or Lon Lon Ranch. What is the sky? Uh, it's interesting sky textures going on. It is going pretty on. interesting. It's like stratus clouds. <laughs> I'm not sure why. I don't remember the sky, the sky in this is game. Super pixelated. At least the moon looks friendly. Yeah. Oh, hey, listen. Ooh, I wish. Bands. I wish Ooh. Navi had the voice of the monarch. You shut the fuck up. You know what? Gibbon takes always saying how he, he he's never gotten into Zelda. What a loser! But he loves skeletons. Uh -huh. Does he not realize how many fucking skeletons you fight he, in he Zelda? He must not. He, he doesn't know shit about skeletons in Zelda. I guess not. There's like every every Zelda game has like a multitude of skeletons. Connor, can you voice Navi as the monarch from now on? Hey, listen! Ah, you're not doing it right. I I regret. <laughs> This is the monarch speaking! No, stop it! You're not I good at this! Navi. I thought you had a better monarch than that! <laughs> it's just super high pitched. That's weird. too high pitched! <laughs> no, it's not! Yes, every, it is. every other time I do it, it's not as high pitched as the monarch. God, no! <laughs> Dude, watch some more. That shit is ridiculous. I always I've forget. seen enough Venture Bros. I am Navi! Right. Okay, the song has started. This is my Navi voice! The monarch. It has been a very long time since I've watched the Venture Brothers. Yeah, so. I can tell. I'll concede that it's possible <laughs> my voice is wrong. Yeah, bitches. I used to farm rupees like this. Everyone farms rupees like no, this. No, I'm original. <laughs> Don't take away my special. There's, ah. there's nothing special about you. No, I'm quirky. <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> the sad thing is, you say that unironically. All the time uh, that you are quirky. I say it in more of a way of like hating myself. <laughs> yeah, everyone does, Victor. Uh, hating yourself is not is not something that hipster girls don't do. That's true. I am a hipster girl. Yeah, Victor's like I am. I am a, a Zoe Deschanel. Yes. I am a manic pixie dream boy. Yes. <laughs> no, you're a manic pixie dream girl. That's true. Who just happens to have a penis. Have a dick. <laughs> can I self-identify as a manic pixie dream girl? Yes. I think that's my official sexual no identity. No one can tell you what you can identify as. That is true. Dream. All right. I officially identify as a manic pixie dream girl. How? What's your? I feel so comfortable uh, what's now. What's your pronoun for that? Um. Like fuck. <laughs> like mins. Oh yeah, like, can, can you get, my, my. like, can you get Min's prescription, like, Min, like, over there is a, <laughs> I can't figure out how to phrase say this that in a way that it makes sense. I have MPDG. <laughs> MPDG. Yeah, to say, oh, I've got MPDG. Oh, so like a condition now? Yeah, it's like a condition. <laughs> I thought it was I've a self-identity. No, it's an illness. What are you talking about? Oh, God. <laughs> self-identity. Are you dying of MPPD? Yes. I am dying of MPPD. MPPD. 
<laughs> I have a chronic case of MPDG, and I need fucking help. I'm just in the gym all the time, trying Why to lift my MPDG away. Right now? I don't know. I feel like, like well, I have to buy the though. shield, so I'm, I had to... You don't need to buy that yet, do you? But I can. <laughs> Actually, you might need to pretty soon. Cause yeah, because like I gotta go, go to the mountain. Yeah, no. But you have to do the whole fucking princess bling, 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 bling. Can I get the shield first? I've never tried. Is this a shop? Holy shit. I never thought to buy this before doing all that bullshit. Oh, you got all the right. Helia shield. I, uh, I broke the game. This is speedrunning. You got the Helia shield. Yeah. Yes, this is speedrunning. It really does crack me up how the backgrounds are so shit in the kit. Hey, talk, no, talk to the girl. Not nah, fuck that. She's a loser. No, talk to her. I know she's gonna give me a chicken. Oh, is she? Smell. Hey, your clothes, they're uh, different. You're not from around here, are you? You're weird. <laughs> Take this chicken. Oh, you're loser. a fairy boy from the forest. <laughs> you fucking fairy boy. I actually see someone different and immediately <laughs> calls him a fairy boy. You fucking fairy. Oh, man. This is uh, this uh, is getting too real for me. Yep, later. too real. Now you gotta... Well, I, I had a point to make and then you're talking about... Victor. Gingers. Gingers? That's what she is. Is she? Is she hey, she called me a fucking fairy boy. I'm gonna call her a ginger, brown okay? brown hair, not red no, hair. No, she has always had red hair. Is it? Uh, yes. Don't. Come on, man. It's a very brownish red. Okay. Uh, no. <laughs> you fucking trickster, man. See, I love how he calls this you a smart bastard. kid when you say no. Yes. Like, ah, oh, you're smart uh, enough to not get trapped in my well, endless well, we, loop. Well, we, well. She didn't give right. me the chicken. Victor. Do I have to go find him and then come back and You gotta talk storm to the gates! Ah, uh, oh, just please climb the vines. There we go. Uh, 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 why? Why? Oh. Uh. <laughs> yeah! You, uh, you, uh, yeah! Yeah! <laughs> You alright there, bro? Yeah. I'm not okay. Do you remember that song? You yes. That song? We yeah. sang that in this show before. Did we? I think no, so. No, we haven't sang that song. That's a. Uh, I'm pretty Black sure I sang that in the no, middle of we Kirby. Did not. I don't think we sang much of it, though. I, 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 I definitely sang the chorus to that at some point. Someone can tell me if I'm wrong or uh. not. But right now we're storm the gates, storm the gates. I wish I could remember any more lyrics. Yeah, of that. It's, it's, it's been a been while. A it's been a hot minute since I've listened to so many uh, so to any uh, Tanakios D. Tanashas. Tanakios. See, I'm gonna have to go back and get that fucking chicken. It's just like, did I have to talk to him first and then? I'm pretty go sure back? you do have to talk. To I him think him I have first. to get busted by the guards and then she'll be there or something. Might be that. This loser! ZZZ my ass. Oh, I can skip his fucking text, huh? More like YYZ. You aren't good at this. You're adding too many loos. Come on, Victor, dork ass like a pillow, brother. You're not, you're not doing it right. Uh, I, can't match, I can't match with that because you're not well, doing the loos right. Well, then you do it, right. you fucking asshole. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm doing it right. No. Is it not doo 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 doo? No, it's doo 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 doo. You're doing doo 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 doo. I'm just doing a different part of the song then because they definitely do that at some point. Like, comment, and subscribe if they do that at some point in in years. I promise you, at some point in the song, it changes up. Then it goes. Do 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 do
You fuck. fucked up. Shitting butts. You fucked up to your yuz. Booty boot boot boo. Booties. Incorporated. Oh man, she's doing the song. You loser, you don't sing. Are you some fairy boy? Uh. This leads me into a discussion that I wanted to talk about, but I was saving it till we heard uh, an appropriate song. Uh huh. Um, which music. I told you about before. Yeah, music. Ongaku. So, uh, the music in this game is super duper nostalgic. Yeah. But not because we grew up with it. Uh -huh. This is this is my theory. Um, everyone sees this game as as a very nostalgic game, um, and people often say that it's nostalgia that that makes it. You know, that, that, that's why people regard it so highly. Uh. And uh, I don't disagree that nostalgia is why people love the game, but I don't think it's nostalgia for the past. I think it's that the game evokes nostalgia. Period. I Whoa, think bro. from the ground up, it was built to evoke nostalgia because the chord progressions and everything used in its music are extremely nostalgic, the, especially when it comes to um, Malin's song, and uh, which is Epona's song, rather, and um, Zelda's lullaby are both super nostalgic melodies. Ah. And when you get ah. to the end of the game, as you were uh. saying um, when I told you this before, you feel this, like it, it plays Zelda's lullaby while showing you all the places you've been and it's like this extremely nostalgic moment where you're like reflecting on everything you've seen while hearing this music and uh, you know nostalgia isn't just something you feel for for your own past it's something that can be evoked by art deliberately uh. and I think this game the art style the the graphical style everything is built to evoke that yeah that's sort of uh almost sleepy dreamlike memory kind of thing uh -huh. and uh i think the fact that people aren't nostalgia blind for every n64 and ps1 game yeah you know exactly it's not like that. anything i played as a kid is gonna hold up right I most mean, of it doesn't we just made a whole video series where we just ragged on sonic adventure 2 yes. which we're hugely nostalgic for like no question yeah. You know, hearing City Escape takes me back to being 12, but that's not necessarily a positive nostalgia. It doesn't make me love that that game or yeah. anything. Whereas, like, the music in this was built from the ground up to make you feel that way, to make you feel like, you know, that it, it felt old even when it was new. Yeah. It, it felt rustic and, uh, and charming. Charming. Quite charming. I don't have the use of my right C button. <laughs> that's what I was fucking around with just now. Oh. Just letting I can, everyone I'm sure know. I can fix that. That's. I mean, uh, you can just at the time. That's what I was doing. Did you try the R buttons and shit? Yes, I tried the clicks and everything. Maybe it's select. That would be hilarious. Select the select button. Nope. Um. Yeah, uh, charming and rustic are two of the favorite words of um, uh, Gordon Ramsay. Yeah. He'll always say, oh, this is very charmingly rustic. <laughs> charmingly rustic. Yes. That's a charming sort of rustic flavor. <laughs> uh, this, this diner, how, does, how does something taste? This diner has a very <laughs> charming, rustic, rustic aesthetic. Well, I would like my food not to taste it's like not, rust. It's not always uh, the food. It's often the, the place itself, you know. But, um, I'm a big fan oh, of Oh, yes, the spoon Ramsey. tastes quite rustic. I don't think I can say I'm a, 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 a world's premier expert uh, on the career of Gordon Ramsay, but I'm certainly a fan. Yes. Oh yeah. I guess Gordon Ramsay is essentially an, an analytical reviewer of food. I guess. And of people's shitty restaurants. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, the reasons that I love Ra Jesus, I can't, like, concentrate with you making that noise. You sound like a fucking chicken. Uh, um, anyways. Oh, man, this is my MP, MP, MPDG acting up. God. Uh, that's the name of this episode, it's gonna be MPDG, just so you it's know. It's like, it, that's my alternate for saying I have OCD, this, I have MPDG. Jesus. <laughs> 
Um, but yeah, I was gonna say that like I think a lot of what I like about um, Gordon Ramsay is very similar to what I like about reviewers and analysts. Like, mm-hmm. you know that that obvious passion for the thing that he that he cares about yes. to the point that he can critique it and you know and and, and feels very strongly about it. And he's a uh, next level critic because he actually creates stuff. That's, and he has uh, a lot of money. Good. <laughs> I know, right? A, a critic who's also a creator. Um, that's also Yahtzee Croshaw is, is great for yeah. that. He's made a lot of great he does games. Does make some indie games, and they're good. Yahtzee's games are typically. I haven't really played a lot of his adventure games, um, but I've heard that they are pretty good. Now but we have to feel the nostalgia. His game Poacher oh, is fantastic. I'm a fucking ninja now. The the Deku Seed is one of the the most underrated items. Do you see Mario? Do you see Mario? Peach too. Throw a bomb in there. Oh, and Bowser. Bowser. I know there's something you can do. And Yoshi. That that affects this window. What the fuck is? Um, oh, the Deku, Deku Seed. Has. Underrated item. Nobody uses it. It actually stuns enemies. It's one of those things that's extremely useful that you just never think about. Are you sure you didn't just not use it because you were a kid and you didn't understand it and actually everybody uses it? Probably, but I I just don't know anyone who's like all right. about the Deku Seed. I certainly always forget it does anything. Are you from the forest? You look like a the, fucking the, fairy you kid. You happen to have the spiritual stone of the forest, would oh, you? Oh, yeah, everyone from the forest just walks around with fucking spiritual <laughs> stones. Yeah, I just come in here wearing you green. Fucking you fucking racist ass, you bitch. You assume I'm a fucking fairy, and you think I have fucking spirit stones. Yes. I've got an ocarina, too. Yeah. <laughs> that face. Oh, you want me to play you the came. fucking forest song? <laughs> fucking racist. I had a dream that all fairies were created gay. Stop. Martin Luther <laughs> King Jr. Why? 1994. Green shining stone. I think we need to remember the green shining stone because it was a green shining text. <laughs> Please, someone, edit for me an image. Please, don't. A black and white <laughs> image of Martin Luther King at like a podium uh, and the quote above him, I have a dream that all fairies are created, dot, 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 gay. God. Signed, Martin Luther King Jr., no. 1994. Uh, <laughs> Please make that for me. <laughs> my ass. My ass. What about your ass, Strange. Zelda? It sounds somehow familiar. <laughs> Okay, yeah. then, my ass. <laughs> oh, God. Why did you make it all one word? My ass. Well, that's why I didn't think you could put a space, so I just made it capital. You can put a space. I am such a... This reminds Jesus. me of... I was in Japanese class one time, and we're doing this thing. It was like... 15 people in the room probably we had to start on one end of the room and then we all build on like a phrase where it's like we're, we're going through a daily routine and it, the, the teacher started with like I wake up in the morning you're supposed to say it in Japanese and then it goes to the next person and the next with person an has erection. to say no <laughs> the next person has to make up their own sentence and add all the other previous sentences and I was like the third person and my sentence was like and then I used the toilet uh-huh. And so every person after me, like 12 more people, had to repeat at some point, and then I used the toilet. And I just fucking giggled <laughs> every time. <laughs> and everyone was like, really, Victor? Really? Every time? And I was, they were like, you're so proud of yourself. I'm like, yes. <laughs> I'm so fucking proud of myself that so I made wait, everyone it, say toilet. Was it optional that you can say that? Or? Yes, I just okay. made it up. It was, it was my own... <laughs> My own <laughs> <laughs> throw it. I'm like, what do you, you do in the morning? You use the stop toilet. It. Jesus, your fucking leg. <laughs> God. And I, I giggled every time. I'm glad that story <laughs> took us through the Time entire cutscene of, uh, yes. of all that bullshit. Oh man, here comes Dark Clouds. Yeah, see, given dark clouds in this game too. Don't be a hater. He's a huge fan of the Dark Cloud games. Ganondorf. That nose, dude. Holy shit. That nose is like... Like, almost an eighth the, the length of my cock. Now, what do you know? Some fucking green scaly Jew comes. <laughs> ruins the whole world. <laughs> this game is racist. <laughs> 
anti-Semitic even. Yeah. Actually, then again, Link becomes a Jew. Actually, no, he's blonde hair and blue eyes. This isn't an anti-Semitic game. <laughs> I don't approve of this shit. It's out about of my a, life. a blonde. I like this game all my life. A blonde-haired, blue-eyed hero goes out to kill the big Jew. This is bullshit. <laughs> it's funny because Ganondorf. <laughs> Almost looks like the uh, the representation uh, of the Jews during the running of the Jew in uh, yeah, so it's, in, it, it <laughs> in, looks like fuck. The, what was it called? In Borat. Borat. Yeah, the running of the Jew. Uh, <laughs> oh man, I'm offended. <laughs> <laughs> These fucking Aryans. All right, yeah. great zoom in on that fucking flower. What was the point of that? To clarify why you would be offended. Uh, we have a, a Jewish heritage. Yes. Um, I don't look very Jewy, but Victor looks significantly look more Jew. Pretty Jew test. You've got the Jew fro. I've got the Andy Samberg situation going on. Yeah, the Andy Samberg <laughs> situation. Uh, or the. <laughs> I've got Woody Allen's disease. Yeah. Well, <laughs> well, I don't know. Woody Allen is like next level. He's like as. That's Jew what I'm gonna call it now. That's what I'm gonna look. gonna call the. The generic neurotic Jew's uh, you're, you're personality more, is Woody Larry Allen's Larry David than, uh, than Woody Allen. Woody, Larry David has Woody Allen's disease. <laughs> <laughs> what, do you, what do you think his influence is, is definitely? Uh, you think uh, you think he's influenced by Woody Allen? Even though I he's probably like so. older I mean, than Woody of... Allen. He's not older than Woody Allen. He's probably twenty years younger than Woody Allen. Really? How Woody Allen old is old as shit. He oh, put out his Larry first David. movie in like 1967. Larry David's like 60. Woody Allen's at least 80. Jeez. <laughs> he's, he's falling apart. If you if you saw a picture of Woody Allen these days and then looked at Larry David, you go, okay, Larry David's young. I guess. Woody Allen. Could I be didn't Larry realize David's how dad. fucking old Woody Allen was. And Larry David's not that old. Like he's he has that old guy look, but I mean he's right. just. Just the fact that he goes with he's, the He's looked the old since look, he was yeah. like 45, is what you're saying. <laughs> this motherfucker plays with her hand. She doesn't give a fuck. Oh, no! Her tits are so triangular. Oh, no! Victor, you gotta... <laughs> you gotta do it, man. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Fuck my ass! All right, hold on. Let me try to configure the <laughs> the fucking plugins. Ah! <laughs> uh, what happened? Oh shit! What happened? Save. What have okay. you done? Uh, C buttons. Okay, yeah, the right C has not been programmed. Uh, I'm gonna put these to actual buttons. Square. But then you're gonna. Oh lose, god, it's still. <laughs> you're gonna lose the other buttons though. Yeah, I'll fix those too. Instant Shit, I don't know what they were when you set them. Okay. <laughs> we'll figure this out. Alright! What is that horrible skipping sound? I don't know. <laughs> uh. Save immediately after. Yes. Like, as soon as you can. <laughs> oh, jeez. Playing Zelda. This is interesting. This is harder than Master Quest. Let's do this. Kids, don't steal. Don't steal. <laughs> you wouldn't download a car. <laughs> ah, yes, I would. <laughs> That's the the worst argument ever because you so fucking would. Of course. <laughs> oh, I can get a car for free. Yes. Right, with like minimal like <laughs> consequence. consequence. You brave lad. Is she Everyone to would be, Irish be fucking downloading or cars or whatever says lad. Oh, Death Mountain. Just wait for the 3D printers to be accessible enough that we can download our cars. I just need this cutscene end so you can save. Or some and we fucking rollerblades. All the episodes of this are like extra long. Just yeah. It's Zelda, you kind of have to. Zelda. How do you like her triangular tits, by the way? They're awesome. Impa's like <laughs> the most like underrated and underutilized character in this game because she seems like a total badass. That's why High Rule Warriors exist. Oh yeah, she fucking kicks ass in High Rule Warriors. Cause she kicks ass. She has a giant sword. Fuck yeah. Even though in this she clearly has like a little ninja blade. Doesn't matter. High Rule Warriors is so canon. <laughs> so so, <laughs> so canon. canon. So canon. Greatest Zelda fan fiction ever made. Save. 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 
save. Saved by the save. Oh, right, I just gotta. Okay. Alright, that's it for this Saved episode of Digi Bros. Hell.